He wants to draw more, so I'm like, okay. But didn't do some drawing. And, and here we are. Gotta make a new picture. Bippity boppity boop. Aww, shit. Yeah, that was a dog. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. In the fire. I'm playing Call of Duty again. <laughs> so, like, the things I say make a bit more sense. Hmm. Yeah. So, what kind of demon are we gonna draw today? Uh. Actually, I maybe I, I, maybe I'll just do some sketches and then we'll. Because, of, because they're just you know just gonna be simple like. They're, they're not gonna have a lot of detail on them. Let's see what I'm thinking. I can't walk away. There's zombies blocking my path. Son of a bitch. They cornered me. What is that? I don't know. I'm just drawing <laughs> shit now. <laughs> looks, like some, looks like a retarded fucking Lugia. <laughs> <laughs> retarded Lugia. <laughs> I figured they'd just be like mostly blobbish, like round circles, like varying ovals, I guess would probably be a better way to say it. Yeah, stuff like that. I don't know what I'm doing at this point. I think this is the problem when I'm drawing without a uh, solid concept. It's probably better to start with the body than the head. Because you can figure out what the head looks like later. <laughs> Return <laughs> retarded look. <Luke. laughs> Return. If only for a second. I'm going to look up some references of things. Things? Just things? Yep. Nope. Um... 
What was that one game that you mentioned when we were thinking of this? Thinking of uh, after party. After party. It's, it's like from the people who made. What was it? Octopree. It's just a, like a long like, puzzle solving like speaking game. It's a vacuum attachment. What? <laughs> Why? I don't know what it is, but something about simple shapes makes it harder to draw them. It's just a bunch of, like, ovals and stuff. Uh, let's go with the polyline. Because they got the thin ones, the tall ones. Funny looking ones. Okay, so he's looking that way. I need. He doesn't need one elbow, he has two. He has sliding joints as well. Sliding joints? Yep. Okay. Was it like a Canadian from South Park? <laughs> this is just how they do the Canadians in South Park. Oh yeah. Because yeah, like the they don't have like the the same like roundness that the character that the regular characters do. Yeah, their heads are like ovals. Their heads are ovals. They pop open. They don't have like a they don't have like a mouth. They just like their head pop open when they speak. And, um, like, their, their, like, arms and hands are just, like, squares. Like, squares and rectangles for their arms and hands, and they just bend at the, at the middle. <laughs> it's great.
This is a very abstract drawing at this point. Yeah. But I think I have an idea of what I want it to look like. So now I can draw. Because you've got like the, the tall lanky kinds and then you've got the, the short and like round ones. Or it's kind of just like a big circle. I don't know, it's a demon. Yeah. It works. They don't have to conform to normal. No, but very little things do have to conform to normal rules. Okay. Nero. Oop, wrong one. Now we have our rough sketch. Boop. Or our rough, uh... Outline. Mm-hmm. Oops, wrong layer. I was like, why doesn't that look the right color? It never did. Because it never was. Boop a doop. I tried the new Mountain Dew flavor. I didn't even know there was a new Mountain Dew flavor. I only know because it was like being advertised at the Wawa. I went out the other day. At the what? And I'm like, oh, Wawa. No idea what that is. It's like a, it's like a quick check. Or like like one of those gas station convenience stores kind uh -huh. of thing. If you ever been to if you ever like whatever branch you might have out there in the Midwest. Mm. Uh, they're owned by Walmart. That's probably why their name is weird. Yeah, I think the only Walmart brand gasoline we have is uh the one at Sam's, Sam's Club. Club. Yeah, they're basically like a quick check or whatever. They they do like the sandwiches and all that fun stuff. Um, yeah, it was being advertised there. It's all right. I like watermelon flavored stuff. I don't think like watermelon tastes good with Mountain Dew. Uh, it's like the same way I feel about orange vanilla Coke, which I have not tasted, but I'm sure it's not great. Because those things sound great, but together they're awful. Mm, nope, don't like that. 
like that. You don't like the pointy nose? I can get all my uh, Sonic anime hair out. <laughs> the Sonic anime hair. Oh, that's hurt me something. Why, why did I get this? Why did you hurt me like this game? The game gave me a rocket launcher out of a mystery box. It really is just Sonic here. Or, you know, Goku hair. That works, too. Uh, a little less Goku. Yeah, it's significantly more Sonic. Mask. Yep. Because I didn't want to draw the face anymore. <laughs> I guess. God, those are just triangles. <laughs> <laughs>
you wearing clothes or? No, it was me just sketching out his arm or something. I need. I was to figure out where the wrist is. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I'll deal with that later. What the, the hand? Yep. Cause I, I'm I'm thinking I may have to just draw it on an entirely different layer because everything's. You could just draw it a different color. I could do that too. <laughs> to make it easier to figure out what's what. Mhm. Mm I look at those uh, hoof feet things, and all I can think of is uh, uh, what's that? What's that show? I don't know. Um, I have no something idea. nine nine. Broke the nine nine. Yeah. Because uh, you have the the gay commissioner guy or whatever his position is. Oh, yeah. And he's talking with that other lady who he doesn't like. And he's like, oh, you're calling me the devil. No, I'm calling you a goat, you goat. That's a good show. Uh, uh, it, it's uh, got some great stuff to it. I, I really liked it. I haven't, like, watched any of it since they started only doing half hour. Uh, episodes whenever they switch networks or whatever. How oh, it used yeah, to be an hour long? Yeah, it used to be like the, the 45 minute whatever, because hour long is bullshit and doesn't actually exist. Oh, right. But yeah. Yeah, it, it was the 45 minute when it first showed up, I think on... I think... Channel 11 had the rights, whatever that is. I think it's picked or something. And then it moved over to what is it, NBC, CBS, one of them. Because you could stream it on Hulu now if you have that subscription. Mm -hmm. what, whatever, like, streaming rights. NBC, I think. I think it's NBC. One of my favorite ones was the uh, the penis, <laughs> the penis graffiti, where it was just a kid who was just tagging police cars with graffiti of of just like dicks on it. Uh, one of my <laughs> one of my favorite. They, it's mostly wanna, just because they want to take out to try and like catch the guy. And the dude couldn't catch him because he was just like hobbling on one foot because he only had one sandal on. 
<laughs> it was just, it was just so, just like the stupidest shit. Fucking Andy Samberg does such a great job playing him. At least I think it's Andy Samberg. I could be wrong with the name, but he's a funny guy. Anyway, what were you saying? I think one of my favorite skits is where they like. I think it was. Uh, they they have the whole lineup and they have to have them sing. Oh, and they do the the Backstreet Boys. Yeah, that, that's a good one. But that's mo mostly because I see that one all the time. Yeah. Oh, Terry Crews is in that show and he's great. Terry Crews is great in a lot of stuff. They actually did a uh, reunion with, or like a 10 year reunion or whatever it was. Or the, it was like the Terry reunion for mm -hmm. uh, Old Spice. Oh, wow. And they had him do a commercial. Or something like that. I don't, I had, didn't actually get around to seeing it. I just know that it was there. Oh, okay. I know uh, that it exists. You have not seen any just Super Spice Bros. I have not seen what? Uh, I don't know if you've seen it, but Super Spice Bros. And it was just a, an edit of a bunch of the commercials. Because it's, it's, like all the com all the old Spice commercials that Terry Crews did was just fucking hilarious. Because it was just madness the entire time. I still think so. I, th I think the uh, John Cena switch commercials were pretty great. Oh yeah, <laughs> John Cena being involved in that—it's hilarious. And then the memes that came out of it. Yep. Also, John Cena was in Scooby Doo. Yeah, he was. He was in that one episode. Or I think it was a movie. But you get up. It happens every now and again. Scooby Doo. Mm -hmm. but since the old days where they had just like weird stuff. They had the Harlem Globetrotters in one. Yeah, the, in the old days they had like a bunch of celebrities come on as like guests. Uh, there was Scooby Doo and Batman. Yep. That one was good fun. Scooby Doo and, and has like met so many different characters over the years. It's kind of just wild to think about. The ultimate Scooby-Doo crossover event where every one of Scooby-Doo's allies come together and duke it out to be the strongest. What? Strong Next time on Scooby-Doo Z. Why are they fighting? I don't know, why not? See a reason for them to fight. <laughs> also, realize how big of a can of worms that is. Batman with prep time fights John Cena. Problem is, he can't see John Cena. Turns <laughs> out, no, Batman is actually like a bat. He has bad eyesight in daytime. <laughs> <laughs>
You know, I think something like this would be fun to get commission uh, to commission somebody to draw. Just like, yes, it has absolutely no re no uh, parallels to normal human anatomy. Other than, you know, it has two arms and two legs. And a head. Sort of. And Goku hair. But what if these aren't hair? What if these are individual horns? I mean, that could do it. What if instead it's just like... He's a really horny demon. <laughs> uh, makes me think of what's it called? Um, weird fucking horned race in the Dragon Age. I forget what they're called. They still look relatively human, but they just have, like, the horn. Actually, it makes me think more of, like, the Argonians, how they have, like, horns, like, all over their head. Instead of, like, uh, the different... That's like what you get is choice of hairstyles when you pick an Argonian. Aaron, this is what I'm referring to. Mm -hmm. Just the Argonians have, like, the horns instead of hairstyles, like, different styles of horns and how they appear on the head. You know, now it's more like Sonic because now the individual spikes are basically he's got hedgehog head. Oops. That button. Changing the song, because I don't like it. <laughs> this song gives me anger. This song invokes a fury unlike none I have ever known. Okay, now to try to draw a cleaner version of this. Ooh. You can very see a very clear difference between the red and the blue here. <laughs> oh, yeah. And and how much neater the blue is compared to the red. Mm hmm
move the circle. What about there. the circle? There's the circle. That's it. I still have no idea what the circle is. <laughs> I'm like, what? It's nothing. Forget it. I'm missing context here. <laughs> There's no context to be had. It's in your face. Funny about putting a red dot state on a sniper rifle. Don't you need a scope for that? Never. No scopes for me. I'm gonna 360 double wide wide no scope off this building. And then I'm dying on landing. Sounds about right. The price you pay for swag. <laughs> I like the idea of somebody actually doing that in real life. <laughs> just like a marine, fucking just, just trying to do a three sixty jump off of like a building or something, and then hitting somebody. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just. Just firing a step rifle while they're spinning. <laughs> oh, shit. Call of Duty likes to have its realism, but also at the same time, they release, like, stupid shit. Especially with, like, the... These last two games, with like their like their weapon packs and like premium stuff that they do, mm -hmm. and people like it. Some people complain about it, saying like this is supposed to be like realism, and yet you have shit like people blowing up into like explosion of pixels after you after you kill them and all that stuff. Instead of like seeing like you know like just like a small blood splatter, then you see like a bunch of pixels coming out of them. And you have like stuff on the other end, which is just like uh, like a fucking RPD with with an anime girl painted on the side of it. And I don't know what you're talking about. That's right abso now. that's absolutely normal. <laughs> in, in today's world, yeah, probably. I, I'm sure you actually went up like a. Like someone like who just enlisted in the Marina Army or whatever, you could probably find like a rifle with a fucking anime girl printed on it. And if not, maybe not enlist, maybe not actively enlisted, but probably like a few years after they've like uh, they've left service, mm -hmm. you might be able to find somebody who has painted their rifle. You know, I should probably and try to get my roommate to do that because I think it's funny. <laughs> just put, just, like, put an anime character on it. Here, I printed off some decals for your, uh, shotguns. <laughs> just... <laughs> if you end up committing any crimes with them, I did not give these to you. <laughs> yes, yeah, the decals is what they want to know where it came from, not... Not the crimes he committed. They want to know where he got the anime girl details. <laughs> uh, now I'm trying to think of what would be the worst anime girl decals to see on a gun. Would it would it just be a lolly? I don't know. That's that just seems a little bit uh, generic. Almost almost expected at this point. 
Like, it's just some obscure ass anime character nobody's ever heard of. I mean, I think it'd be funny if people just started putting hentai characters on. <laughs> I mean, have you seen the, um, the Ahigo sweatshirt? Oh, yeah, I have. I've seen that before. Yeah, you basically put decals of that on no, your uh, shotgun. I was just like, but that would all, that also seems like something that you just kind of expect. It, it, because the sweatshirt exists, it's something you'd expect. Mm-hmm. Maybe it's not even the actual girl herself. Like, it's just a picture of her thighs or something. <laughs> just put giant anime eyes on the uh, on the gun, nothing else. <laughs> exactly. Only the true believers will know. <laughs> <clears throat> or we go on the other end and it's just the fucking, like, the chest thing of the anime girl. <laughs> only true believers will know what giant chest this is. There's only so many giant chests in anime, it could be any of them. There's only an infinite amount of giant chests in anime. Some of them physically impossible to happen. Well, I guess not I physically. I think it's more so their design and practically is, is more so than impossible. Mm hmm. It's because in the anime world, the breasts don't follow gravity for the most part. Oh, definitely. They only follow gravity when they're moving rather than when they're standing still. I have bra gravity defying breasticles. Oh, uh, yes. That's tried and true. Do you know what I think would have been really funny? Is if in oh, Final Fantasy VII Remake, they made Sephiroth female just to screw with people. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I, it would be funny, but also at the same time, everybody and their mother would be pissed off at that. Oh, yeah. They, uh, but that's kind of why I think it'd be hilarious for them to do something like that. Oh, I'm not, or if like I they had a DLC or something like that, that's just like, this is an alternate universe. Or Sephiroth was a girl. Or if in like one of their spin offs uh, they do that. Uh, it, it would be, uh, actually, I think it'd be funnier if they did what like Shovel Knight did, where it's just like an like option toggle where you can just switch the genders of characters. Change uh, Shield Knight to uh, Shovel Bro. Not quite, but yeah, you get the idea. Do 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 do. I like how I have, like, the weird fur on the one, but the other one is just like, yep. It's just squares. It's just not even extending past where it should, it's just... <laughs> it doesn't need to conform to our reality. It's not conforming to our reality, it's conforming to a different reality entirely.
Uh, and I'm sure people have already like made mods to just change the <laughs> the stupid gun decals in Call of Duty as well. Oh, that's and then sub even... probably. Okay. I'm walking away from you. You're evil. PC modding makes things so much fun. Except for when that screws up your computer. Looking at you, Cyberpunk. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, apparently <laughs> a lot of this, like, computer destroying shit is done onto the mod scene there. Mm hmm. Which is bad. Nothing quite as annoying as opening the mission box and getting a weapon you already have. Yeah. I, I will say one of the funniest gags they've done in the zombies games was um, one of the levels start off in uh, black and white. And I think this was in the first Black Ops. And uh, the, the characters actually commentate on it. And it's like, oh, no power. No color to it. It's just the Russian talking. It's great. All right. It's enough for a concept. I'm gonna work on another one before I start. Actually lining it. Yeah. Cartoon Demons shows a picture of Sony. What? Why? I don't know. What? But this is also DuckDuckGo that I'm searching through. And so... I don't... Yeah. Their search, uh, uh, their search uh, engine is weird. Here. Why are you using their search engine? Uh, because it is what is currently listed on my as my default search engine in Brave. Oh, okay. Because I'm using that instead of Chrome. Yeah, that's fair. Because I make money off of the, uh... The very small amounts of money that you do make off of it. Hey, I made, like, $2 last month. I'm not doubting that you made money. I'm saying you make very small amounts. Oh, yeah. And most of that I made on my phone. 
And I can't link any of that together until I have 25 in each of them. 25 what? Dollars? Uh, basic attention tokens. So that what comes out... That that's the cryptocurrency that they use to pay you. Oh. Okay. Sure. And... What a fucking name, though. Basic Attention Token? Yep. Well, you a sixth grader? I mean, they might be. That's possible. And I maybe have the attention span of, an, uh, of uh, a sixth grader. I don't doubt that. But yeah, I I earned three basic attention tokens last month, which comes out to about a dollar twenty one. All right. At least on my phone. That's something I suppose. Yep. It's better than nothing. Okay. Now on to using normal Google to see if I get any better images. I'm going to say no. Um, yeah. I'm not getting much, much more in the way of what I was looking for. I also don't know what you're looking for, so I can't use that so much. I don't know what I'm looking for either, but what I'm seeing is not what I'm looking for. I know what I'm not looking for, and that's what I'm finding. <laughs> I don't like that you have Scorpion. And you just say, fuck it, they're coming here. Twenty twenty one, where uh, Godzilla fights Cthulhu. Uh, and then yes. Galactus shows up. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Perfect balance of power, Galactus. <laughs> not, not some third other, like, you know, very relevant kaiju, just Galactus. That's a cool picture, but that's not what I'm looking for. That's just abstract drawings. Ooh, that might actually... Thank you, abstract drawing. You gave me an idea. This is one classic uh, zombie fashion. Uh, there's a new special weapon, and it's called the Rike 47. Or 84, something like that. 87. It, it's on off just the AK. Nice. And you get that instead of uh, a classic ray gun that you'd see. I will say, I, I like how cartoonish the ray gun is compared to everything else. Because it's straight up, it's just like something you'd see out of like a 50s alien movie kind of ray gun. Mm hmm. This has already gone beyond, beyond the simple. <laughs> what? It looks more like a fucking, what is it, like a gargoyle almost? 
Mm -hmm. I don't know. I saw it and I was like, you know, I want to try drawing this. Used for the dollar glue. This thing almost looks like a fucking Charizard. <laughs> some abstract ink demon thing that somebody drew yeah. and uh, I'm just like I'm interpreting it you can just pull up a uh, rush images yep I could do that too but then somebody might do a psychological analysis of me and that could be dangerous ah uh, yes psychological analysis you get from a single drawing Yep. Mm. One of the oldest blunders in the book, using a rock to draw something. I mean, it's an interesting, but I don't know if it's. It's not exactly. Simple. Yeah, well, it's not what I was going for. It's fun to draw, though.
Hmm. Uh, what they twist? Not not quite, but sure. Sure thing, I'm like sure. Yeah. You do your thing. Good old M Night Shyamalan. Who's made what? How many good movies? I mean, he's made some really good movies, and then he's made some yeah, really awful, awful movies. And then, what is it? Um, now he's trying to connect. What was it? Split with another movie he made like fifteen years ago. Or did that happen already? I think it was called Glass. You can say what you will about the guy. He he does know like like some decent twists, and he does make some okay movies. For some reason, this is starting to look like a piece of pizza with uh, legs. That's because of the shape. No one to blame but yourself for that one. Yep. Pads. They make sense sometimes. Oh, hello. Oh, that wasn't the smartest idea. <laughs> I threw a grenade on a zombie that was in front of me. Well, that sounds like a uh, brilliant idea. Reflexes all. <laughs> I, I like how weird this thing looks. Uh, it looks better with just one eye. Yeah, that's. Mostly I was just like, let's see. Oh, it looks three. Because three would make it look better. I don't know. Uh, like. <laughs> <laughs> Got all defensive over that. I was trying to see what it would look like with multiple pupils inside the one socket. Just uh, wasn't. 
You could do like a bug eye kind of thing. Where it's just like cross hatched almost. With the like the one big pupil and the rest are just like a small like bug pupils. Ooh, actually yeah. Uh, stop. I'm hitting buttons. You should stop hitting buttons. If that's what's causing you the pain. Oh hello, second mimic that was behind the first one. What are you doing here? God. Ooh. Other idea. You can just make random eye spaces. Or it's just. Or more so like there's just a bunch of random eyes on there. It's the eye monster. Like how beauty is the eye in the beholder. You just have to figure out which eye. It's all of them at the same time. It's only when they all look at you that you truly know you're fucked. Oh, my armor breaking. I should fix it. I think I'm just going to keep it as the single eye. Yeah. Doesn't need a nose. It might also just not need the, the cross hatching. Yeah, I'm not liking it. It's not as much. It could also just be like the one like insect eye instead of just like some weird hybrid kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Fuck, 
That's how you change. You can't hide from me. monster of a thousand eyes. It's just all of the eyes happen to overlap with each other. Is that how that works? Sure. We're the ones making up the lore, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> There's no canon that we have to... Adhere to? Mm-hmm. Because we are the canon. It was me, all along. I was on that ship 17 years ago. I was the cannon. Eh? Nani? And he's sitting on a chair. Because he's a gamer. <laughs> Is that all that's required to be a gamer is to sit on a chair? If you're a monster, yes. You're a monster. You think it wouldn't be so easy to become a gamer, especially with how little parts there are. Okay, thank you. I don't need you to be next to me. Stay away from me. You too? Why are you here? You die. You die, please. Yeah, but death is but temporary. Optional. Uh, I don't think it's optional. I think it's quite mandatory if you ask me, but who do I know? I'm just me. And yes, you heard me right. I said who, not how. I am the owl. <laughs> um, the great owl. That's kind of like a Modoc almost. A Modoc? Yeah, the mechanical origin is designed only for killing. Never heard of it. No? Uh, Marvel? I'd have to look it no? up. You've probably seen them before. Oh, that guy. Yes. Eh, you know, kind of. I mean, it's not a giant brain, but... No. But it's just sitting in the chair, and the chair almost looks like it's floating. Oh, that's a lot of zombies. That's a fireball. I don't walk away from that. Yeah. Get some soda. And I'm good. Oh, you're behind me. Why are you behind me? When did you get there? Stay away from me, please. Thank you. You wake. That's a nuke. You die faster. Mm, I don't know. Moving on. <laughs> what does he know? You're not really feeling it? Yeah, I just wasn't feeling it. That's fine. You don't have to feel anything you don't want to. Except for pain. The pain is only temporary. Fuck you, obvious mimic. <laughs> this mimic just likes this fucking spot, and he keeps going there. I don't get it. And like each time, he disguises something different. Like the first time, he was a goddamn a, a minigun. The next time, he's a rocket launcher. It's just like I know nothing died up here. Why are you still here?
Okay, stop punching me. I know you're angry, but please stop. Purple gun. What does this thing remind me of? It's it's not like Spolosis, because that's a Pokemon, and I'm thinking of something else instead. It looks a little bit like Wind Cast Form, or like Ice Cast Form. When I first drew it, my first thought was, you know, this kind of looks like Finn. Oh, the head, yeah. Yeah, I, I see where you get that from. It's like, yeah, I, it's I drew, just, I drew this bit, and then like, I... It's with, like, the weird little top ears, and then it makes it the fin hat, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, I think it looks better without this box thing. It's just a, mo it's just a demon of circles. Could use a bigger eraser. I could use a bigger eraser. <laughs> Just as a thought. Aren't you glad you have me around? I can tell you when you're doing something stupid. Okay. You, you, you just don't like me, do you? I hit you with my mind crush. Or is it supposed to be bringing in? Oh, you went that direction. I was, I was trying to think you would have done like like Rayman where it just doesn't have anything connecting its arms. 
No, and he doesn't, technically. Sort of. Yeah, he... but, but, but Rayman has the empty space. Yeah. Completely. That's bad. I'm gonna run away from that dog. That dog doesn't get along with me. That was one of my notes. My throat. Most of my nose. <laughs> Dog wants my nose. Get it away from me. He has a floating top hat. Ah, yes. The classic. The classic demon accessory is top hat. The classy demon. God. And cult plebeians. I don't know how to draw a top hat. That's gonna be good enough. <laughs> it's just the Doug Dividone hat. Doug Dividone. Corner of the Dim Cell Dim Dome. Where the Sean Crash Nebula? Uh, on eyes? Right. Not right. My name's Doug Dim 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 Dim. <laughs> hey, it is so fucking good. It's pretty good, yeah. You know, I'm sorry. I'm actually. I really like this design. I'm not. I'm thinking of just not having the other arm. Just one arm. And a top hat. Though, I mean, it kind of needs the other arm. So I'm going to be lazy. And not draw with my mouse, because drawing with the mouse is awful. That's usually a bad idea. Then we take this. And we go whoop. And then... Then we go swoop. Sloop de swoop. Sloop. Scoop de whoop. Scoop de coop. Doobly doop. Bazing pal. So I'm liking this one and this one. This is a pretty good one. Maybe not the hat, but. You know. Yeah, I mean the hat's mostly. It was mostly a joke. Just gags. Thanks for the goof. You stay away from me. You hurt me last time. I don't like you. Ugh. There I go. <laughs> Just. <laughs> it's like more like creatures than demons. I think the first one's the only one that actually looks relatively demonish. Mm -hmm. Unless we just want to lump them all together and just the monsters and demons are one and the same. Oh, maybe I drew a monster here instead of a demon. That works too. This is a spooky ghost, because it's not going to get finished. And this is just a guy sitting on a chair in a weird costume. You could just remove the chair and it'd be a pretty decent monster design. It would just be like a... Like a blob cyclops or something. Mm-hmm. Could also probably get away with a larger eraser. <laughs> I'm going to delete off the screen. Just more canvas appears on screen. <laughs> <laughs> like what? Where did this paper come from? Yeah, I really, I actually really like this design. It's just simplistic. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if it would look better if it wasn't like ovals. Like if it was just circles instead of ovals. At least the head will be a circle instead of an oval. Well, we can take a look at what that would look like. Just morph it. Yeah, let's see. Oh, 
the scaling is attached. Why is the scaling attached? Um, Probably because you're selecting with the left rather than the square. No, because even if I was doing that, the scaling would still be attached. It would? It's weird. Yep. Hmm. It's a setting. I'm trying to remember where the setting is at. Maybe if I control X, control V, maybe that will. Well, control X is cut. Yeah. Well, the idea is that I can then just come in here with uh, object manipulation. Maybe. Oh, hey, look, there's the button I was looking for. <laughs> I think it looked better, but that just might be me. Or you can do it the other way where it's just really, like, yeah, just something like that. I don't know. It would also mean like the lower circle would need to be less wide, unless it's just a big fucking head. I'll move my next guy will move the paper. <laughs> Massive head. And then we can come in and Thank you. 
All right. And I can just read. I think Alex, yeah, now that it's that, and then... <laughs> I don't know, I, I think the white head looked funnier, but this makes more sense. Oh, yeah. Don't like that. Oh, why not? Don't think it looks good. Oh, okay. Um, I do feel like it needs something up here. Up, oh, like on top of it? Mm-hmm. Because it just kind of uh, feels... Empty? Mm-hmm. Well, it doesn't need to have something on top of it unless you want to make it like some weird like energy thing. Ooh, maybe these would be elementals, and they would have whatever element they're slinging at you on top of them. Ooh, that'd be good. Let's... So, like, a like a fire one would just have, like, a small, like, fireball on top of it. And basically, like, you would be able to change the color and effect in the circles. That is a... <laughs> I thought you were going for water at first, then I realized you just, like, really fucked it up. <laughs> I cannot try, draw flames to save my life. Uh, I need a Charmander. You just draw you, and then you spike out. Hello, Charmander. I'm stealing your tail. So, uh, like I said, it's just you. But then you spike it out. <laughs> Let me just go with Voila. Goodbye, Charmander Tail. Fire. <laughs> I'm going to draw these on different layers.
Ultraman Water. I was thinking like a storm cloud, but that works too. Like that? Yeah. Okay. Uh, lightning. Electricity. Bunch of zigzags. Uh, Instead of deleting the entire thing, you could just fix the last line. Mm-hmm. Just so you understand. Eh, polyline, why'd you do this? Because <laughs> you fucked up and put them way too close to each other. Having so much trouble with this. I'll just make them single strands, they don't have to be the double strand because they're smaller lightning bolts. Just making that one line thick as hell. There we go. Yay. Uh, let's see. Do we want to do a light elemental? Or do we want to just leave it at... Nah. Let's see, I guess we want rock then. Next, then. Or what? A rock yeah, elemental. That would be fine. Fire, water, lightning. Yeah. Just animal magic. That makes sense. Uh, 
Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Elemental just punches you. <laughs> my element is my fist. <laughs> When all three elements combine. <laughs> awful. All we right. Could probably just take like a single, like one, like the high tier one where it's just a single like item. I don't know what, but it could be just like a white object, or give it like a halo or something mm -hmm. to show that it's using all of them. I don't know why, but I don't feel like going through and working on that. Let's work on this one again. Um, I got an email. Oh, it's Facebook telling me that I haven't checked my notifications in forever because Facebook is trash. <laughs> and the process of deleting my account just is too much of a pain in the ass because it requires me to remember what my password is Okay. Oh, vector layer. Ah, uh, snap. Helps if I draw it on the right layer. No, I was. No, I was drawing on the. I was drawing on. Uh, oh, let's get there. The blue layer. Oh, I'm going to do the mask later. <laughs> Give up immediately.
Very spiky. Yep. Reminds me of like a flower almost. Got a lot of thorns. He is a rose demon. Demon of the rose. <laughs> demon of the rose. He's not actually a rose, he just identifies with them. I identify as a rose. But you're not, not a rose. As, it's with God. Identify as an attack just, helicopter. You can't do that. Sure, I can. Can you just see me do that? No, do it again. I identify as an attack helicopter. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> as if you did something for me. You're welcome. I've made your life better. He's got that pointy ear. Could have just made it wider on the other end, but sure. Doesn't have to fit exactly to the blue line. Unless you want it to. I just want it to be smooth. Smooth as ice. You're as smooth as ice. Except for when the ice isn't smooth. And there's not much left to sacrifice. I know. What? It's a bad parody. I don't even know what it's a parody of. You're as cold as ice. Willing to sacrifice help. my love. I don't remember. I think that's actually, I think just Cold as Ice is the name of the song. Sounds like something from the 80s. It is very likely something from the 80s. Okay. Uh, I think it was mentioned before. If it uh, didn't come out at least 20 years ago, I don't, uh, or is a dead meme, I don't know it. <laughs> it's 
So maybe I would like it better if you took off your clothes. Connect. Boop. Yeah, that's, that's a song that sounds like it would be from Panic at the Disco, but it's not. What song? Uh, if you're too shy, let me know. And that's, uh, by the 1975. They got a lot of, like, abstract songs as well as just like weird like almost 80s pop kind of sounding stuff mm -hmm. I like it a lot now there's that one song he showed me the other day that sounded like it was like it just re released recently but it sounds like it was made for the 90s yeah uh Estella by uh, Danny Hoopla. But yeah, like it, it sounds like something out of the, like a punk rock band from the 90s. It also just does like the, like the transitions, like it was made in the 90s as well. On the music video, the transitions, I mean. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's, that's another, like, artist that he just, like, sometime last year on the big leagues. And he's so cool. He's like, hey, mister, I am mad scientist. It's so cool. What? Yep. No! What person sounds like that? Um. Okabe Rintaro in the Japanese dub of Stein's Sorry, Gate. who? What? <laughs> <laughs> Anime characters. Motherfucker, I had six names. He only has two Well, he has four names. He goes by, uh. Uh, Hoween Kyoma, which is like, uh, oh, that looks weird. the kanji for it is just some weird bullshit. It's like, <laughs> it's got like Phoenix and, uh, gold and it's just like, God damn it, man. Why is your name stupid? Well, because he he made it up. That's a, that's why his name is stupid. Yeah. And his no, his actual name is Okabe Rintaro. What a fucking name. And uh, there's a an American doctor guy who calls him Lintalo. Yeah, sounds alright. Or maybe it's Lintaro. Lintaro san. My Japanese is very broken. My English is even worse. This is a Japanese man trying to do English, like how it usually is. Yep. It's good fun. I think that was some of my favorite part uh, about Yakuza. Was just hearing all the bad English whenever they tried speaking English. You know what I always thought was kind of weird? Is that Japanese studios that have an international audience... And like yeah. international branches, they don't spend the effort uh, to local uh, to get like, or at least like a. It was like, oh, they've got acting. an they've got an English, a guy who speaks English. Let's get an English voice actor in to do these lines. Yeah, you'd think that, but it might be like a weird Japanese thing. Uh, it's definitely a weird Japanese thing. I just wish they didn't do it. Oh, but then you also have, like, on the other hand, like, where it's, it's a character who speaks both Japanese and English, you get a different problem. 
Oh yeah, because the voices are different. Yeah. Beautiful ice. That's my Beautiful best. ice. <laughs> it, it, um, was such a, it was such like a fucking like a shock to hear it in Yakuza 3 because it was just like it, it was after you fucking beat down uh like the, the triad head like the snake flower triad head and then this dude who looks like your dead dad shows up and, and it's just like beautiful eyes like my butt like with the thickest Japanese accent beautiful eyes like my brother one shit like, like shit like that like my brother one shit oh Motodashi. I just started dying on that scene. It's supposed to be like a little more serious, but I'm just like, I hear it and I just started laughing. Uh. See, in the Steins Gate Zero, in the English dub, they decided to have... There's a section where uh, one of the characters translates a, uh, a presentation from English to Japanese. But in the English dub, they do it the opposite. They translate it... Or they have the character yeah. speaking in Japanese, but they have that in the forefront and then give you subtitles. And it was like... That's not what you're supposed to be doing, though. No, it's not. I get that you can speak Japanese. Your Japanese kind of trash, but, uh... He's like, the Japanese is trash, but I understand why you, did, you chose to do it this way. But there was a better option that we would have been able to understand much better. Which is basically, you take the guy in the background who's giving the presentation in English and change that to, like, German or something. That mm -hmm. would have made... Honestly, would have made that scene much better, in my opinion. Especially because the guy comes off as though he's, like, a German-American. Mm -hmm. Honestly, he looks very... From the art, he looks very German. I believe it. I, I just tried to use ASDW to move around on the... Uh... And the best part about doing this with a ve in a vector layer rather than a raster layer is I can resize the image and it doesn't pixelate. Mm. Or at least the lines don't. I mean, as long as it's not, you know, post doing the image or uh, translating it to a PGN or whatever. PNG. Yeah, whatever the stupid numbers are. <laughs> numbers? I'm sorry. My favorite number is P. I mean, my favorite number is E, so... There's not much to go there. My second favorite number is Pi. And then you multiply Pi times E. Two, ir two irrational numbers multiplied together. And we don't know whether or not that's rational or irrational. It's Schrodinger's number. <laughs> I 
I mean, we presume it'll stay rash irrational, but... <laughs> Until we apply it. It's hard to prove that it is irrational. Eraser... Oops, I think I erased the wrong one. Yep, I erased the wrong one. You fool. Foolish fool. You'll never recover. Who fooled the fool? He was a foolish man. You know what? I'm just going to go back to doing what I did there. <laughs> so. Oops, not what I wanted. Okay. It, it seems the mobile fire emblem is continuing the trend of bringing back dead cats for Valentine's Day. And this year is uh, the, the sibling's dad from the mobile game coming back to life. I'm not dead. <laughs> Even though you killed me. Through, through a long, complicated string of events, you killed me. <laughs> you did it. Okay, moving down. And then boop, connect. Simplify. Nyo. Nyo. Oh, wow. What happened to his arm there? Oh, there you go. Now it's very pointy. Also a very straight arm. He's a demon, he doesn't he doesn't care. No. He never did. <laughs> Ooh, you can make the elbow like a straight up point. I also just noticed that arm has three segments. 
<laughs> Do you like it? It's fine. It's fine. I, I just noticed that I'm like, wait a minute, something's wrong here. <laughs> oh, maybe that's it. They don't have wrists. They have three segment arms. They can scratch their back from their front. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, I was going with the idea that uh, they shifted their... They basically had uh, joints that allowed, they could shift to wherever they needed them in their arm. Well, what's the point of them being like shadow people? They're like kind of formless. Mm-hmm. But but I just noticed the three the three section arm and I'm like wait a minute <laughs> <laughs> that's not how elbows work <laughs> oh god now this might be one that I get uh depending on how much I get back from uh. tax returns and stuff. God damn it. Well, mostly it's like, I want to see what somebody somebody else will do with this. Yeah, like, there's, there's always that. It's like, I have created this monstrosity. What do you do with it? It's not like it's bad. Oh, no, I'm not saying that it's bad at all. I'm just saying it's a monster. And it's a weird-looking monster. It actually looks almost like out of Monsters, Inc. Okay, now to go and fix those lines. Pinchy. Burp, 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 burp. <laughs> the whoop. Around out the back. I am a stegosaurus. <laughs> Ow. 
can also erase that line because it doesn't need to be there. Yep. Goodbye line that doesn't need to be there. There you go, you just straighten down lines like that. Yeah, it's much easier to uh, get the required or the curve that I want. Yeah. By just doing it that way. Because it gets rid of a lot of these dots. Mm hmm. <laughs> what? I Why hit the. That? I hit uh, correct line width instead of connect line. Oh. <laughs> and so it added onto the white line width, making it. I just, just made it fat. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> just. Now just leave the other arm. can delete that line that doesn't need to be there yes but it makes it easier to adjust this does it uh so that there's a, a certain level of continuum behind the arm oh, okay and then you erase it and then I'll just draw it in. <laughs> just, just the wrong way entirely. I don't know. I, I also just like, am of the idea that they have three, and either any one of them could just be the thumb. Oh yeah, like they can shift it. Yeah. Double jointed kind of thing. Cool wee, that one. <laughs> 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 what, what happened there? It turned into a claw. <laughs> More like a nail than a claw. It's a very thick arm. I want to narrow yeah. that arm. He does arm day, but only with one arm. <laughs> I guess it also works. It could just... I want to... Nope. Uh, let's see. 
Actually, it could just be that way, because, again, the whole idea of shapeless. Mm-hmm. Three jointed on one arm, and then just one extra thick arm. It's actually secretly a noodle. Doesn't even have joints in that arm. Just like... <laughs> <laughs> It's out of that one to put it in the other arm. <laughs> oh, but if it didn't have, if it didn't have, it would be a little more straight than curved. It's nothing but muscle in that arm. Not even bones. <laughs> he maintains the straight, uh, maintains it, uh, shape because of flexing. He just flexes really hard. <laughs> Sheer force of will. This arm is straight. <laughs> okay, I think it's ready to be colored. All right. Uh, do we want to do any like patterns on him? I don't see a reason for patterns. Like, uh, YouTube privacy warning. Okay, I don't want to go to that. <laughs> like the YouTube privacy pattern, what? But like on the horns or something have like different sections, different colors sort of thing. I don't know, I think it could just be a better pitch. It doesn't look shaded or something. Mm -hmm. Rather than like multiple colors. I think just like yellow. That one. Um, it's like a navy, dark black, black and blue for the whole body, or maybe darker. Do you think gray would be better? I think that looks fine. Yeah. Maybe go with a... Set of dark gray hooves or something. Darker. And then hair spikes. <clears throat> Just 
colors. That was the idea. Uh, uh, mostly, I just want to see what it looks like before I decide that's how I actually want to do it. Little pink in there. <laughs> I actually like the way it looks. Yeah, it's kind of makes it give it kind of gives it a feather feel. Yeah. Rather than uh, spikes. And that's the scalp. <laughs> <laughs> the scalp is green for whatever reason. Could just use the dropper and pluck out the blue. Well, this was basically like there's a segment in between the two, so I was looking at a different color. Yeah, I, I get that, but like it's also just like it looks like the scalp more now. A different color, maybe. Maybe they plucked out because of stress, and so it's a different color because it's not as exposed it's to the hard elements. Black. Just hard black too. Is the idea that underneath the stress skin there's just a solid black morph? What about the inside of that ear? <clears throat> I like that idea, actually, that, that it's just like a suit it's wearing. Mm -hmm. It's just like a blob with wearing a suit. Would explain why it's formless in a sense. Now it doesn't bend to reality. And then the horns. Uh, go with like an ivory. Or unless you think like it would go better with like gray or some other color. Something like that? Yeah, that works. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. I don't know why it's colored around it. You see that? Yep. I don't know why I did that. Oh, you just undo the feather. Yep. Now you're undoing all the colors. You're undoing all the minor little touches to the fill in the pixels. Yep. I sure am. Black. Close gap. Area scaling. Yeah, I kind of like those. That color. Yeah. <clears throat> uh. 
All right. Um. And I guess I can do some shading, or we can call it there, because we've been going out, going at this for two and a half hours at this point. I don't know. I can keep going if you want to, but I don't know how you feel. Uh, it's, I gotta um, get, I got voice lessons tomorrow, so I'm gonna... Alrighty, I'll stop there then. Uh, we're gonna call this Shadow Demon. Or I say just like monsters. What'd you say? Cut out a little bit. Monsters. There's just monsters with a name instead of a name. No, uh, this is only this particular image. I gotta save the other ones oh, individually. Oh, oh okay. So yeah. The left or something, I don't know. Lesser shadow. If you could spell shadow without a D. Yep. Could turn into like a greater shadow where it just has wings and it's a little more formless. Actually, I got a great name for this. The eyesore. The eyesore? Yeah. <laughs> this as... Yes. <laughs> Elemental la 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 la's. That'll make it easier to spot in the future. Yep. All right. Thanks for joining us. We'll, we'll be, be back, back next time with more stuff. Yeah. Uh, Wednesday at the latest. Yay. Probably. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.